But first, we begin with breaking news. A lot of activity and a lot of questions at City Hall. Right now, the doors are sealed at Alderman Ed Burke's office. Thanks for being with us. I'm Erin Kennedy. And I'm Marissa Bailey. Let's get right to CBS2 political reporter Derek Blakely. And Derek, Alderman Burke is the longest serving alderman and chairman of the powerful Finance Committee. Indeed he is, and while no one is confirming anything here at City Hall right now, this certainly has all the earmarks of a search by law enforcement agents, perhaps federal agents, of Alderman Ed Burke's City Hall office. Now, City Hall employees in an adjacent office arrived around 8.30 this morning to find this, Burke's Finance Committee office closed and covered in brown paper. When a reporter knocked on the door a while ago and asked, uh, what was going on, a man in a suit cracked the door a bit and simply said, no comment. As for Ed Burke himself, he is undisputably the dean of Chicago City Council and the most powerful single alderman in the council by far. As a former Chicago police officer, he became alderman in the 14th Ward upon the death of his father, who held the same position. And Burke has held that seat for some 50 years and also has great influence not only on the city council but in democratic politics at large, particularly concerning the slating of judges. However, Burke is facing his toughest re-election challenge in years as that 14th ward uh, becomes more Hispanic in population and uh, that is a challenge that he has sought to seek. He has filed for re-election. But as for what's going on here today, Mum is very much the word. Not a lot of information, but certainly this is something no one expected to see in City Hall, and especially in the office of one Alderman Ed Burke. We're live at City Hall. Derek Blakely, CBS2 News. It's a big story, Derek. Thank you.